Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create doodle effect in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description. Download it. Use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. In case if you want that completely designed .psd file means, hit the like button. Soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First create a new canvas in Photoshop. I'm going with size 2000 by 3000. I'll keep the resolution as 150, color mode as RGB. Now our canvas is ready. Next create a layer, go to color picker, select any color you want. I'm going with yellow color, this one. Fill the color, I'm using keyboard shortcut Alt backspace. Next create another layer. Change the blending mode to color dodge. Now enable brush tool, select soft round brush this one, increase the size, now give a single click at the center. So now our background is ready. Next we are going to drop in our image, go to the folder you downloaded, there you will see a model image, open the image inside Photoshop. Of course you can use your image, drag and drop the image inside our canvas, enable free transform tool, Control T and resize the image. Fine, I'll tell you this one. Next, we're going to add a doodle effect. Before that, we're going to install a new brush. Go to the project file. There will see a Photoshop brush. Double click and install the brush. Now come back again to Photoshop. Create a layer. Go to color picker. Select white color. Now select brush tool. Scroll down and select the newly installed brush. Uh, let me start with this crown doodle brush. I'll reduce the size, give a click here, next let me use another one, I'm going with wing brush this one, give a click here, now click F5 and select flip X, I'll reduce the size and give a click here. Now again I'm going to select another brush, prevent this one, give a click here. Of course you can use your imagination and use the doodle brush and create a cool doodle effect. I'm going to use this one here. Next I'm going to use the splash brush. For that I'm going to create a layer right below the model layer here. Now enable brush tool and select the splash brush. Now give a click. Now enable free transform tool and if you want rotate it slightly. Fine. Next I'm going to use other brushes. I'll fast forward the process. Fine, next we are going to use the pen tool technique, for that create a layer, I am going to same white color, now select brush tool, in the brush tool select the hard round brush, this one, I will reduce the size down to 6 pixels, now select pen tool, if you never used pen tool before, don't worry, I am going to teach you a simple technique, now we are going to create some random lines, for that zoom in, make a first click here, I'll make a second click here, I'll make a third click at the center, now hold control key in your keyboard and make a curve path like so, now right click, enable stroke path, here in the tools option select brush, click ok. Now we create a line, we are going to use the very same technique, I'll repeat the process, I'm going to create a line here, make a first click here. Second one here, I'll place the third one at the center. Now hold control key and make a curve like so. Now right click, stroke path, click OK. Now yes, I'm going to use the very same technique to create some random doodle lines. Next let's add an ornament, some kind of necklace. 
to the neck for that greater layer here I'm going with the same pen tool now give a first click here second one here now third one at the middle now hold control key in your keyboard and create a curve like so fourth one goes here I'll place the fifth one here sixth one at the center now hold control key and create a curve like so now complete the path right click stroke stroke path click ok now I'm going to select the brush tool I'll, I'll reduce the size down to 5 by holding shift key in the keyboard I'm going to create a design like so now I'm going to make some random dots Now I'm going to use the very same brush technique and pen tool technique to create a doodle effect. I'll fast forward the process. So there you go guys. Now our image is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care.